Five rackets need to be placed in three boxes. Each box can hold all the five rackets. In how many ways can a racket be placed in the boxes? So that no box can be empty if all rackets are different, but all boxes are identical. The rackets are different. So I have A, B, C, D, E. The boxes are identical. So we have box, box, box. And then we know that these are going to be placed. Any racket, any box can hold all five rackets. I can take all five and put it here. It has enough capacity. But the question clearly says no box can be empty. Let me no zero here. Each of them should have at least one. One, one, one is already there. Right? So the boxes are identical. Keep it in mind. Right? Think about the number of toys that can go into the boxes. And so one, one, one is already there. Finally, we have two remaining. I can put that as one and one. Or I can put both in the same box. Or the number of toys could be 3, 1, 1. Or 2, 2, 1. Beautiful. Now we are going to dive, in, dive deep. 3, 1, 1. The number of toys into each box. Now, do we need to worry about 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 3? The 3 toys, 3 rackets being in this box. vis a -vis this box. We say with that box, do we need to really worry about that? No, we don't. Why? Because the boxes are identical. There is one box that has three rackets. Right? There's not a specific box that has three rackets. Out of the three boxes, one has three. So we need to worry one has three out of five. So three one one or one three one or one one three, that doesn't make any difference. Two two one two one two one two two, that doesn't make any difference. Right? So now we know that out of these five, we need to put three in one box. One in the second box, one in the third box. How many ways can we do that? Then we are through. Right? How many ways can we do that? Out of five, we are selecting three. Five C three. Out of the remaining two, we select one. Two C one. The last one is just one. Likewise, five C two. Three C two. Last one, just one. However, 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 the beautiful question because of one final catch after this. Right? Five C three. Wait a minute. And out of three, out of the remaining two, we select one and put here. But imagine this process. After we have A, B, C, D, E. After we select three out of these. Let's say we select D, E and C. We have A and B remaining. When A and B have to be put in two identical boxes. One in one, the other in other. And how many ways can it be done? I have two toys in me. Got to put one in this and one in the other. The boxes are identical. Whether I put A, B like this or A, B like this, it doesn't matter. So it is not 5C3 into 2C1. Think about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful catch. It is only 5C3. The moment I've selected 3 out of 5, I'm done. I'm going to put C, D and D into one box. A goes into the second, B goes into the third. Whether B goes into the second, A goes into the third or the other way around, doesn't matter. The boxes are identical. These two, one, one, they're identical. I'm going to put one in each. I have two toys. I'm going to put two in two, one in one box, one in the other box. How many ways can I do it? Only one way. If I put C, D, E here, if I put A here and B here, or B here and A here, it doesn't matter. It's the same because the boxes are identical. So it's not 5C3 into 3C2, into, into 2C1. It's just 5C3. Very important point. Here again, 5C2, 3C2, 1C1. Out of the 5, I select 2. Let's say A and B. Out of the 3, I select 2. Let's say C and D. And then E goes there. Okay? Imagine this. I'm selecting A, B, C, D and E. This case is slightly different. At stage 1, I cannot say I don't even need to do 3, C, 2. Because I have 3 toys. 2 of them have to go in one box. So I have to select. But this selection, the selection where we do C, D here, a, B here and E here, they're identical. I select A and B to go to the first box, C and D for the second box, E for the third. Or C and D for the first box, A, B for the second box, E in the third. Effectively, I'm doing the same thing because the boxes are identical. So this one is not 5C2 into 3C2. It is 5C2 into 3C2 by 2. 5C2 is 10, 
3c2 is 3, 10 into 3 by 2, which is 5 into 3, 15. This one is 5c3, which is 10. 10 plus 15, 25. Beautiful question, absolutely delightful question. Because of this final thing that you have to do, we should not be doing 5c3 into 2c1. We should not be doing 5c2 into 3c2. We are doing 5c2 into 3c2. We have to divide by 2. Because 5c2 into 3c2, I am effectively double counting. A, B and C, D. C, D and A, B, both are same. And so be switched on about that. This whole thing happened because the, the back boxes are identical. Just keep that in mind. The boxes are identical. We need to be careful with the math. Hush. Thank you.